There's everybody's favorite hit monkey. Let's get that heretic booty. That out of the way, welcome. This is going to be a bit of a pseudo review. I am not a critic, just a casual chimp. But I've been loving Bolt Gun so far and wanted to make a video on it. I wanted to keep a natural flow of the gameplay's progression, so there won't be any segments, just referring back and forth. I think it may be hard. I don't want to be planet destroyed. Your boy is a coward, but not that much of a coward, because it's still hard mode. So as you can see, we've got four difficulties. Low, medium, hard, and exterminatus. I'm going to be focusing on hard because I'm a little weenie. Unlike a lot of other games, increasing the difficulty does not just inflate enemy health and damage artificially. Increasing the difficulty actually feels like increasing the challenge. There's more on this later. Also, follow the space bible. It's called the Codex Astartes, you filthy heretic. Get him! Also, I just wanted to include this part because I could barely figure out the damn sprint tutorial. Because of this, I will be judging the game as a 2 out of 10 for solidarity with the Cuphead reviewer who couldn't beat the tutorial. <laughs> it's not my phone, I'm just a monkey. Oh, give it to me. The bolt gun has the best pickup intro. The rest of the guns you just kind of find. I have more to say on this later. Gun, gun acquired. Not just any gun. Literally. It's, it's the bolt gun. It's Mr. John Bolt Gun. That's the name of the game. So, this is only the first fight with the bolt gun, and it's already one of the most satisfying guns I've used in a game. The sound design is great. The pitch of the weapon even gets lower as the mag empties. The animations are sweet as heck, and the gameplay with it is really tight. But that's a recurring theme for all the guns. So there are barrels you can shoot, and it's super satisfying to clear a group of enemies with them, but they do kind of trivialize some enemies, but the satisfaction definitely makes that worthwhile. Chaos space I have to admit, I was a little disappointed with how paper thin the normie Chaos Marines were, but for gameplay purposes and the progression of difficulty, I get it. It sucks to be a Chaos player, I guess. Hey, that insta popped on him. Bolt guns are not just your box standard weapons. They fire little rocket-powered grenades that embed into people and then explode. And this gun shooting feels exactly like how I imagined that. Oh, I'm still... oh. To add on to this, they did a really good job of representing the bolt gun in law instead of just giving us an assault rifle with a bolt gun skin. Um, they're just seeing a big blue fucking blur and they just scream. Imagine being a Chaos Space Marine, you just instantly die from, from a barrel. That's also, if you're like me, you'll appreciate opportunities like this to be a rat. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. This is the first time you get the shotgun, which is good, but just kind of fine. I don't know if it's just me, but there was something about it that was just less fun than the bolt gun. And this kind of followed for the rest of the weapons, except the heavy bolter. But that's just a bigger bolt gun, so... Maybe it's the power-ups for the bolt gun, but I just found it way more satisfying than the other weapons. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts about it. I want to know if I'm crazy or something. Ah, more Dimash. So the first Terminator fight was a point that I was a little concerned about the difficulty because this one is an absolute pushover. He felt almost as paper thin as the other Chaos Marines. But in hindsight, I appreciate the way enemies were introduced because it definitely helped the progression and ramping up feeling. Now what? Push this side. Fuck yes. Oops. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. Oh, oh my goodness. And this part is a good example of that. They introduced the Terminator and then put you in a room with a bunch of smaller enemies. This was good and I liked it. The steady ramping up and introduction of enemies definitely kept it interesting. Are you telling me that the plasma rifle has been in the middle of the map this whole time? Gimme. Okay. 
terminator bots. Where are they? Yeah, eat it. Oh, I'll go this way. Where the terminators are. Get it. Where do you, you go? Also, the enemies can vary their spawns, apparently, and gank you in different ways. This was great for keeping me on my toes, and I kind of wish other games like Dark Souls could do this to keep things a bit spicy between every death. Here I was, just relying on the bolt gun and a little bit of shotgun again, but especially later in the game when you unlock other big boy weapons, I find myself using some very situationally and then just defaulting back to the bolt gun. Nothing really kind of feels as good to me. Why is one of them all the way up here? Oh my god, he's, he's unfazed by the cosmic. He's not missing shit about him. There we go. Give me that. I need it. Let's do it. Okay. Terminate us down. Eat that shit. You silly kids. I should not be using my shot. We did it. We made it through alive. <gasps> Nurgling! That's so... Look at it. It's just so precious. Ah! Quiet, creature. They were just chilling and I... I killed them. For no reason. Other than being Nurglings. Oh, what? Also, this happens a lot. The Nurglings are some slippery boys and are hard to hack with the chainsaw, but it's okay because they're just so precious. Like I'm not I'm not a chaos supporter, but they are pretty cute, right? I'm not I'm not crazy. Hello? You okay little guy? They're as happy to see me as I am to see them. Another part of the difficulty balancing that I really like is the health and shield. They seem to have found a really good balance for the amount of health they give you in fights, so that you aren't constantly having to hide and peek or do rat strats, even though I am a connoisseur of rat strats. But the tension is also preserved. I never felt safe, you know? I missed, I missed the point like Oh no, oh no, my worst fear. It's not true. It's past time to get some. It's time to get out of here. Of course, I'll just. Any health packs, please? What about you in the morning? Oh, god, yeah. Fucking nothing. How did you get that? How did you get that? Oh my good lord. Slippery little fucker. So greasy. I don't think that marine was expecting instant death. We're back with the blue horrors. But they're fighting each other. People with siblings will get this. You ever do something to yours and then just sprint as fast as you can to a table or big thing and run around it, just becoming impossible to catch. That's kind of what happened here with this Chaos Marine. What are you doing? Oh, yep, here we go. Friendship with Bolt Gun is over. Heavy Bolter is my new best friend. Or it would be if I had more ammo. This thing is great. I love it as much as the Bolt Gun for the same reasons. Unfortunately for the other guns, they do not bring as much joy. Spin. 
Be better. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I love the instant death nature of the barrels on even the Chaos Marines. Like, their armor means literally butter in the face of a little barrel. No. You. Look at this thing. That Terminator just had to stand there and take it. I love this gun so much. A heavy bolt into that fucking face. We did it. Oh my goodness. It was a prank all along. You, you wacky and zany demons, you. How zinchin of you. Oh my goodness. And then there's these guys. They are coming for your giblets and they ain't gonna stop until they're six feet under. Unrelenting with high damage and running like Sonic hopped up on speed. Oh, and they also come back to life, so enjoy feeling victorious only be disturbed with only a little health after the fight. These guys really increase the tension and on some level I hate them. Why do they keep respawning? Okay, right. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> They died this time. There you are. Oh, good lord. Stay, stay. Back away from the chip. Up right there. Those guys do not fuck around. I said, mm, yeah, give me your gym books. And they just, they just take my gym books. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, Jesus. Eat barrel, you stupid idiots. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. A lot of change. What are you doing? So, the Lord of Change is the first real turning point for the game difficulty. There were other challenging parts, but this is where it really hit me that the game wasn't going to be a pushover, and I got more excited to play. Oh, he moved. Now I threw a grenade on Now I look like a fool. And I guess it doesn't take much to me. I'm a heavy bolter. If he comes over here, these barrels are gonna ruin his day. The Terminator, where did he go? Ah, uh -huh. not the purple fire again. Another Terminator? Oh, wait, it's the same one. Ah, uh -huh. my body. Yo, is it the screamers doing the weird purple fire? Oh. Ah, oh, he got me. I saw it. Look, I'm beating up the Lord of Change. Pretty stressful, if you ask me. But it's not all good. There's a rant incoming here now about progression. This isn't the last time we fight the Lord of Change. It returns as a boss multiple times and nothing really changes. Granted, I have not finished the game yet, but for so far, every time I have fought the Lord of Change, ironically, very little has changed. Just the arena and his backup. If it was mixed with other bosses or big boy enemies, kind of like the Barons in Doom and Doom Eternal, I would get it. But, I don't know, reusing bosses like this always kind of just irks me a little. Also, the boss after the Lord of Change is just a weenie Chaos Marine Psyker. I think they should have been switched because, I don't know, something about fighting a Lord of Change before a Psyker is strange from a lore perspective to me. Also, the footage behind me is of a puzzle room where there were very few enemies and once they were dead it was completely empty and devoid of life and you had to find a path through these doors that you jumped through.
I don't have a problem with puzzles. I have many, many brain wrinkles. But in a game as fast-paced and high-energy as Balkan, this felt very out of place and boring to me. It took me like 15 minutes to get through it and nothing was happening. There's another random pace change in the game too. After unlocking a ton of weapons, you go from one mission to the next and suddenly you have no weapons but the bolter. This doesn't happen after every mission, just one so far. It was really weird and totally disrupted the flow of the game, at least for me. Even something as simple as falling off a ledge and losing them would have been better than them just vanishing and having to be reacquired. Again, I've not finished the game, but I really hope these two things in particular don't happen again. I've gone on about this for a while, but I only really have three complaints. This, some of the guns lacking interest, and reusing a boss over and over. Anyway, to recap, the game is overall just fantastic. It's got all the bells and whistles of a very polished game with a lot of identity, and to put it simply, it's an extremely tight and fun shooter experience. I hope we get more with Korn and Slanesh, and also, the art style is a wet dream for anyone who even remotely likes to look at the pixels. Well, that's all I had to say. I'm not planning any more videos on Bolt Gun, but I will be finishing it on my stream, so come check me out at a Real Chimp. Also, there's a link in the description, but I'm not a partner, so you will have to copy and paste that. And thank you very much for watching. If you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe and let me know your thoughts. Like I say, I'm not a critic, just wanted to put something out there about it. Alright, bye-bye. The shotgun, but especially... Especially? What?